Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have absolutely changed the way that subtasks function inside of Morgan. And you might be saying, wait a second, how subtasks function? We have never had those before. That's right, we got subtasks now within Morgan. Uh, brand new update, really excited for this. Let's dive right into it. So first and foremost, in the task section in the new desktop experience, all you need to do is go to wherever your tasks would be. And then if we click on add, I can put a new task like cleaning up my room. And you might be saying, okay, that's pretty cool. But like, what is it? How does that help me? Well, it helps you because when I press enter, and then if I were to click this plus sign here, you'll now notice that a toggle opens up and we have subtasks. So for example, I could say clean my desk, vacuum, dust, obviously dust before vacuuming. And after I put those different tasks, I can move the different options around within here to go in whatever order I'd want. I could take this and set it to a specific due date. And then you'll see that it pops up within here. Now, overall tasks are a lot more functional. So the task performance is much quicker than it used to be. This is awesome because you're gonna get this on the new desktop app and experience you're gonna have a whole quick, quick system, quick, that I'm really excited about. In this upcoming section, what you actually get is whatever is due within the next seven days. So any of these due dates, for example, even if I had one as yesterday, it's gonna pop up only stuff that is the next seven days. So stuff that's due yesterday is not necessarily gonna be an upcoming, but if I reset this to that next day, it'll pop up there. And it is a nice little addition to the system. Subtasks can be dragged in and outside of the tasks and are such a welcome feature to the suite in general. Now, if we want, what we can do in the settings is make it so that we can do a option for show scheduled tasks. So for example, if I were to take this cleaning up my room task, I could leave this along with its different subtasks showing right here. And then I could put a separate due date for this and press save. Now you'll notice within this, I am able to put multiple of these tasks on the calendar for different days. And when it comes to the repeat, I'd have to set them in the individual level. They do not necessarily have the exact same repeating options. So like, for example, I do every week for Monday here, subtasks will not follow. You'll notice next week, only cleaning up my room shows. Personally, I'm a big fan of how this works. For the first time, we finally have subtasks in Morgan. And this feature is only gonna keep getting improved. You'll notice when there is a recurring event here, it will indicate it on the calendar. And you can actually change that by clicking on here in this little calendar icon for any of these. You can manage the actual change from the calendar, but you can adjust the due date within here. And all of these different priorities for subtasks can be set to different levels, medium, low, and high, or just not having a priority as well. They're not gonna get the exact same priority as the upper level, so it does have that nice individuality there. You also can set a default for tasks that are scheduled now to be either busy or free. So this is completely up to you, but you can by default set it so that, you know, for example, this wouldn't be always busy. My default currently is busy, but for example, if I take this and I don't want it to by default be busy, you can go into settings in general and make it so that by default, you can set it to be free for transparency of scheduled tasks. So for example, now when I put dust here, it would show it as free. Now, personally, I like it as what it is by default, but just wanted to show that for you. You can also select the default calendar for tasks if you'd like as well. What's really cool here is now when I go into the mobile app, if I go onto my inbox, you'll see those different subtask items that I created. So we have the, the Swiffer, the dusting, the taking out the trash, cleaning up my room. I have the ability to edit all of these different ones, uh, similar to what I had before on the desktop experience. And if I create a task, like take my vitamins, and then if I go within that specific task, I can add subtasks like take vitamin B12, take vitamin D. And when I save both of those, you'll see that in the subtasks, they pop up right away. So now see after I finish that, there are the two ones right here, and I can press this toggle to open and close. Those very quick and easy. So I'm really excited that these are here. Uh, I personally am, I can't wait to get a lot of the uh, chore related tasks. As you can tell, I do a lot of cleaning off of other systems that I use and get them into Morgan because subtasks just make it so much easier to utilize and interact with. I'm curious how you're gonna utilize Morgan in your own workflow. So please make sure to leave a comment down below for how you're gonna implement the subtask feature 
into what you do on a daily basis. If you have any other questions, make sure to also leave a comment down below and check out this video on how to improve your Morgan capabilities even more.